Hello guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in. Excited to be here in Deb's Event Emporium group for Give Whimsy a Whirl. What a fun day. So getting this pulled up on my iPad while you guys come in and let me know where you're watching from. I am here in Fort Worth, Texas. So tell me where you're at. If you are new to me, welcome, welcome. Hi, Christy. I think you're the first on. Hello, hello. So my name is Deb here in uh, with Art and Grace. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I don't see many popping on yet, but I know you're coming. Hello, Phyllis. Hello, hello. Happy Saturday to you guys. Hi, Tricia. <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. Thank you so much for inviting me to this fun event. This, I will tell more about it when we get more friends here. So you guys do your work that you always do for me. I appreciate you so much. Hello, Liz. I got to send you an email or a note, a message, something. So hold tight. I'll do that after this. <laughs> so many things going on this weekend. Hi, Rochelle. Hi, Lori. Glad you're here. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Sue. I love all of the fun, whimsical things. You guys know that. So this event is just right up my alley. Hi, Patty. And I've caught everybody today. I've enjoyed everybody. I do need to go back and watch uh, Kathy's because I could only listen while I was prepping and getting ready. Hello. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Yeah, it's cold here, too. First time, Karen. Well, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Gail. Okay, guys, we are going to paint. We're going to do it on this, uh, like, MDF board. This came from Target, I believe. It says Horizon. Is that Target? Almost positive. Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. And it's got this pretty blue frame. I like it just as is. You can always paint your frame another color. But blue is perfect. Hello, Linda Sue. Glad you're here. Hold, please. Always forget to grab my sealer. I want to show you guys this because so many of you, I've got to get comfortable. Sorry, guys, my back is always hurting and I've got to get this chair right. <laughs> oh, hi, Kathy. Glad you're here, friend. Always, I always hate following Kathy or any of the Sparkle Six. They are so top notch. So I appreciate you guys setting the bar high and we're always trying to improve what we do because you guys are such an example for us, the rest of us. Um, so this is my multi-purpose sealer that I use. This is what you put down before you paint. And I have never taken time to show you guys this while I'm on a live because usually I've got 30 or 45 minutes. So all you do is squirt some on your surface, put this down because we don't know what they used on this wood. And this way we know we're getting a nice sealed piece of wood to paint on. Our paint will glide on really smooth and stick well, as well as stay long term. So. I always use this sealer before I paint on glass, wood, metal, or if I'm gonna do resin, I will seal wood so that the resin doesn't go down into the wood because sometimes that will make your wood bubble and you don't want that. So if it hasn't happened to you, good, you're lucky <laughs> because I have only once. It was really almost like a tree trunk kind of piece of wood, you know, like a really rough stick piece of wood I don't use sealer. I don't use this on my canvas. I will use gesso on my canvas if I'm going to sell it or if I'm going to give it as a gift. I will go ahead and put a couple of coats of gesso because what they put at the factory isn't quite enough for me. But for just our fun painting and just, you know, whimsical for yourself or, you know, if you're not trying to sell it, you don't really have to. It's kind of an extra step that isn't always necessary if it's just for us, in my opinion. But anytime you're gonna sell something or give it away and you want it to really look more professional, last long term, it's great to use gesso um, and put it on just like I put this on, kind of a nice smooth, not too thick uh, layer. And then once that dries, go back the other way with it and so I do two layers of gesso if I'm going to do that. But this, if you're just popping on, is not gesso. This is a multi-purpose sealer to use before you paint 
on wood or metal or glass or whatever. Yes, I will, Bonnie. Hi, Deb. Hi, Linda. I'm glad to see you. I hope you're feeling okay. Let me know how you're doing. Okay, there's... Did I, I didn't turn my camera around, you guys. Oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if it'll let me. And it won't. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. I'm sorry. Deco Art Multi-Purpose Sealer is what it is. Well, darn. I've got a little printout for you guys. This is what it looks like. We're going to paint this onto this wood. And here's what I need from you. While I'm getting started here, I want you to start telling me some things that women you know struggle with. So it doesn't have to be you particularly, but maybe you've got a mother, an aunt, a daughter, a sister, you know, a friend who confides in you like, I'm just really struggling with. So it can be weight. It can be um, having a close friendship. It can be the loss of a close friendship. It can be, you know, the loss of a spouse. It could be, I mean, you know that living in this world, it could be a million things. So that's what I want from you guys to start giving me. Yes, there we go. Self-esteem. Mom guilt. I know. April, you know that I have that. I have mom guilt, y'all. I'm try to be very transparent with you people. So even if you're new to me, you know, I try to uh, use things that I deal with. And a lot of the posts you see are things that I go through or that I need encouragement about. Um, there's no reason for me to hide, you know, like I just tell it like it is. So yes, mom guilt is a real thing. We all get older and wiser and wish we had done things different. I'd give anything if I could go back and do some things different. But I have amazing kids regardless of my mistakes. But yes, yes, anxiety is a big one, isn't it? Loneliness is a huge one. Yes, Sue Ellen, I'm so sorry. Yes. Depression. MS Linda Sue. Oh my goodness. So sorry. Yes. And as a mom, isn't it so hard to see your kids struggle? It really is. Okay, so just wanted to get this dry. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to um, trace this on because I don't want to mess this up. I'm going to send this to one of you. And let me just tell you that the ladies hosting this event are giving away a... Uh, let me hold on before I say the amount. Oh, gosh. I know it's at least 25. It might be more. Gift certificate. So, Kimmery or Deb, let me know. Um what that gift card was again I'm sorry I forgot the amount if somebody wants to tell me but they're giving away a gift card this evening and all you have to do is be commenting sprinkle the video you know those kind of things 25 thank you Tanya I loved your um, your little bee thank you Deb uh, so you know we we all could use that right so um, besides the fact that you could win, it's just fun to interact in here. So I appreciate you guys commenting and sprinkling. You know how it is. We, we as creators need that support from you guys. And I never, ever, I don't think I ever will take it for granted. Even if I get a big page someday, I could never because it is so helpful. And that's how we get to be a, a bigger page. And it's not about numbers. It's about hopefully getting a little bit of kickback from Facebook is what it is. So never feel like you're a number to me because you are not. So anyway, I'm tracing this on. This is my design. So when you get it, um, I'm going to give you a link you can download. I don't really even need to do the wispies. I just need the basics because when I'm live and in a hurry, I can't, I just admit you, I can't always make my designs look pretty upside down and in a, in a hurry like this. So it does help me even to use my own tracer. So all I'm doing here is just kind of going around where I want things to be like so. So anyway, you'll be able to download this and use it. Of course, it's already in the VIP group, ladies. If you're a VIP member, you know you've got it. That's really all I need and the rest we can do on our own. Yes, I hope you guys, if you're not following me, I hope you will. I, I would just love it. Okay, background colors. I was thinking pink, so I hope y'all are okay with it. You know me and pink. So we're going to do a little light pink for a background. 
unless y'all tell me real quick y'all tell me real quick if you want something else thank you cindy um yes me too donna you know um man i think that we are all so similar maybe we struggle with different things but we all have struggles nobody's perfect nobody has it all together so even when you see you know maybe you see these creators that seem to have it all together they'll be the first to tell you or if not um oh did i leave my water cup out there i did i'm gonna use my old water cup oh um they'll be most of them will be the first to tell you they struggle too so never feel like you know oh so and so has it all together listen how can you um oh i was gonna ask y'all the you love pink oh weight is such a such a battle isn't it the older you get the harder it sure is everybody said that but wish you could stay on facebook it's so much easier to find you cheryl what do you mean i'm on facebook we're on facebook right now i just took my pink and mixed a lot of white with it i'm going to do this background in this light pink so i hope whoever gets this will enjoy pink <laughs> if not maybe it'll be perfect for you to gift to a friend or your granddaughter or somebody you know but I used to kind of I went through a thing where I was like I can't keep saying pink's my favorite color at this age I was like 40 and I was like you know as a grown woman shouldn't I you know have a more you know mature color as a favorite color and um, and I, I guess the older I got the more I was like that's silly I can have whatever color I want to have <laughs> and so can you so I love pinks all shades so anyway uh hopefully this will encourage you guys to try some easy painting because you're going to have the tracer you're going to see me do it and see how easy it is i'm just getting on a background and i'm going right over that little piece of a crown right there because i can obviously put it right back um, and it's just easier to kind of go quick and go over it i like to go the same direction of the wood even when it is this cheap mdf it doesn't matter to me i still like Kind of going in the same direction of the wood i'm not really too worried i can touch up on my sides i just want to get this going you love fuchsias and purples yes i do too you did gina see i'm a firm believer in surrounding yourself with what makes you happy so if that is muted farmhouse tones or um you know brights like i like whatever it is surround your home with those things surround your space if you have a craft room or you know if you don't have much of a space at all because your husband or whoever won't let you um you know do your favorite colors throughout the house or something then you find a little nook maybe it's in your closet you know and you decorate a little part of that nook so that when you walk in there and get dressed you feel pretty and you feel special because it's just yours you know we can make do with very little we really can and but i'm a firm believer in surrounding yourself with things that make you feel good and kind of lift you up so bible verses are great or uh, important quotes that mean something to you a lot of us grew up hearing certain things from our moms or grandmothers you know put that type it out print it out whatever you need to do and you know the bible says think on these things the things that are good and pure and and that's what we have to do we have to fill our minds with kind of reprogram our brains right okay we're getting this background in and i'm going to let this kind of sit so it can kind of dry hi cynthia you're um oh goodness well linda sue did you see in the vip group all of the ideas i know carrie has had a lot of good organizing tips and debbie rigg came in there and was a guest and she gave us some fantastic organizing tips if you have not seen her with her organization you're missing out she has got it together and um, i know sometimes you need some space and it helps to have a little disposable income to buy some clear containers but you can do one at a time there's nothing wrong with grabbing things one at a time and in no time you'll have what you need yes that 
is that the carbon that I see here? Let me grab my eraser. So what I wanted to say now that more of you are here, thank you guys for sprinkling this out. So if you haven't and can, I appreciate it. We want Deb's uh, group to grow. So we are encouraging you guys to please go to her group and just watch us one after another in there. Join the group, be a part, comment. Like I said, they're giving away a uh, $25 gift card after this event is over. All of us presenters are able to choose one of you to be in the drawing. So we're excited about that. These white erasers are the perfect thing to erase carbon and things like that. Anything to do with art. So if you don't have one, they're nice to have. Thank y'all for, for the hearts. 160 eyes. I appreciate you guys so much. It is so fun to have a group. So if you're new to me, my name is Deb. Live here in South Fort Worth. I've been a Texan all my life, born and raised. In fact, I was born in the hospital about 20 minutes away. So uh, made it back, you know, how we travel all around and then kind of end up coming back home, it seems like. Okay, guys. That's what I'm hoping for my son and daughter. I hope that they stay close or, you know, but who knows? You know, we all go where a job is these days, so you don't know where people are going to wind up. Okay, guys. Um, but what I was saying about Deb's group, it's Deb's Event Emporium, and um, we will get it pinned here at the bottom. If somebody, I know, well, let's let Deb do it or one of the administrators for the groups. We'll let them post it so we don't get 8 million links into our feed here. Um, oh, good, Karen. We're going to have an in-person, um, we're going to have an in-person event at some point. Top right corner needs pink. Top right. Oh, yes, it does. Thank you. Yeah. This, this is not easy sometimes. Y'all bear with me. Bear with me. Sometimes I struggle. I'm on the struggle bus today, as they say. Let's put this down. Yo, oh, yeah. Oh, goodness. Well, before I mail anything out that I have painted on a live, I definitely fix it. Because I, I tell y'all the truth that it's it's not always, well, it's never perfect. But it's it, it needs some touching up after I'm done. You just can't do things as good as it needs to be on a live or on an upside down live, right? But anyway. Um... Let me see. Here it is. Thank you. Be so creative. Camry pin comment. There we go. So there's the group. We want everybody to support each other, right? Support uh, Camry and Deb and go get in that group. They're doing a wonderful thing by gathering us all together and creating a fun event. Now, I know there's lots of events all the time and you can't watch everybody. But when you get into that group, you'll be able to, admit, to go back and see anything you missed. It is too hard to try to find later, if you're like me anyway. Like, I either have to share it, I do share it into my group, but um, if I don't share it to where I can find it later, or get inside that group, which I'm in, then we can forget trying to find it individually. Okay, guys, that's gonna, we're gonna call that good for now, and move on. Oh, good. Well, I hope y'all are helping anybody asking questions because you know that I am, it's tough to see it all. Things go so fast. Just join the, oh, thank you. Good. I'm glad to hear that. If you just joined today, let them know. It is so fun for them to see their groups grow. And of course, like I said, we all need the assistance. I'm going to put a little brown into this cream color I have. The color I'm using is Natural Buff. But it's pretty light, so I'm going to add a little brown into it and get her some skin color going. But what I plan to do with this is choose somebody in these comments. That's why I wanted to get you guys answering that question and, um, and give this away. So then I will put your what you need. So if you want this to say, you know, you are worthy or... Um, you are strong or powerful or whatever your word of the year is we can put that up here but I guess I wanted this to remind all women that are on and of course 
men, you know, you've got sisters, wives, friends, you know, whatever that you can encourage. But I want to encourage us to help each other out, to be supportive. When you're in the comments somewhere, it's still really light, but that's okay. We're going to go with it. So that we'll start with our neck. I've got a round brush. Oh, that's really light. Even I'm not quite that fair. Oh, wow. Listen, anxiety is rampant because of the society we're in, and it's not going to get better. We know that. We know. So, um, you know, we got to be praying for our kids, praying for each other, lifting each other up. And that's what I really try to be about is creating an atmosphere where you feel supported, you feel encouraged, you feel um, important because you are. And the world can make you feel so beat down and so unworthy, so, you know, depressed makes us feel fat, makes us feel unlovable, you know, all those things, but that's not truth. So around here, we try to fill you guys with the truth that you are worthy, that especially for people who, I, I don't know, I got to wait, wait, I got to back myself up. Um, we are all worthy. God created each one of us in his image. If that doesn't make you feel worthy, I don't know what would. He has chosen us, right? So um, you can't listen to society. You can't listen to people who, I don't know, they just maybe aren't kind people, whatever. You find people that will encourage, lift you up, and be a good friend to you, right? That's what you need is some good friends. And, and man, I said that to somebody the other day. I can't remember who, but I was like, You've just been around the wrong people because you are enough and you are a great person. So if you're around people that make you feel less than that, then you're just around the wrong people. Okay, so this is gonna be hair here. Let's do face here. We've got flowers right above. Glad y'all are here. I don't wanna ever be preachy. I'm trying to just be encouraging. Because I know the messages I get and the things that I hear on a literal daily basis. And I'm praying for a lot of you. And, um, and it just breaks my heart to know how, how bad the world can beat you up. And beat me up too, you know. Beat us up. And so we got to stick together and encourage. So if you see people that tell you in, in comments, even on another post or on a, you know, on a live somewhere and they tell you they're down... Just lift them up. That's what we need. More doing and less saying. Because we all say, yeah, let's come together as women and lift each other up. But we got to be about it. And not just say it in a post, right? Okay, so I've taken a little bit of white to this and kind of lightened up right here in the center of her face. So the bottom of her face has a little bit of darkness. And then her neck is a little darker. Can y'all see that? It'll come together. Oh, thank y'all for the stars. I Hi, Gloria. I'm so glad to see you live. You hardly ever catch me live. Oh, goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tony. You know, there is so much of that. There is so much of that. And we don't know many times until it's too late. Because people don't like to just share that. They don't want to tell everyone, I'm depressed. You know, I really feel like I'm not... Um, needed here on this planet you know and those things uh, we need to show people they are right so don't wait don't wait guys that's that's the, the best thing I can say to you is don't assume that everybody's okay don't wait just just encourage just maybe maybe you're right now thinking hey you know this makes me think of so and so then I encourage you to even leave my live if you need to and go send them a text and say, I'm just thinking about you today. I hope you're having a good day. Miss seeing you or whatever it is, you know, whatever the case is. Because that is going to make that person who might be super depressed feel so loved, right? And so cared for and so like, wow, I can't believe she thought of me, you know? So don't wait and don't think, oh, I'll see them Sunday or I'll see them next week. You know, just do it. I've just taken Bahama Blue, one of my favorite spring colors, and kind of 
painting in this but also adding in some of this blue I think it's blue harbor yep thought it was but I want to be sure for I said it out loud and then kind of blending these two together as we go down these little butterfly wings oh Sue you don't have to thank me nobody has to send me stars um, I I would just wish I wish I could do more I I have this dream of someday just being able to send out happy mail like crazy. I've had that vision or whatever since I started this business. And um, it's just, it, it gets really expensive to do. But, um, but I finally recently decided I'm going to start sending some art because that's something I can do pretty inexpensively and still be able to send it, you know, out to people. Um, but there's just we just need to be encouraging and lifting people up and that's just an easy way that creators like me can do it so as you see we're just going kind of back and forth getting these colors in here and kind of blended it's it's however you want to do it you know let me show y'all up close yeah that's right kathy I think y'all are encouraging each other in the comments and if you are thank you I love that um, absolutely so many of us do have depression off and on or sometimes it is full-blown I can't get out of bed most days and I'm so sorry if you deal with that you are not alone as Justin our brother says all the time you are not alone that's my favorite thing he says because it is true and yet depression will make you feel like you are 100 percent alone nobody cares nobody can understand you know you guys i know some of you look at the creators that are on here and you think if i could only be so perky and all that but trust me there's plenty of creators that struggle with depression and other things i hope my dog doesn't bark my husband just came home um y'all are getting to know blue though she she loves to bark when anybody comes. She knew it was him, though. She heard the car. Anyway, here to tell you, you're not alone. So stick with us. Stick with the creators that encourage you. And, you know, uh, put, put us on. I, somebody had a, a brilliant idea. She said, I don't like to eat alone, so I'll put y'all on while I'm eating. How smart. How smart so if you're home alone and you're feeling down put somebody on even if you don't watch just have it going because sometimes they'll make you chuckle and before you know it you're actually kind of chuckling as they're doing their things so I'm not really funny but there's a lot of funny people on here so put somebody on that can you know do that for you and and what a fun thing you know I thought that was such a great idea there's a lot of loneliness going on okay let's see how that looks how we doing I saw give yourself the grace of time oh my goodness I wish every woman would do that I wish every woman would understand how important it is to give yourself a, a hobby something you enjoy doing maybe you like going to the antique store maybe you like going to hobby lobby maybe you like going um running maybe not me unless i'm chased you won't see me run um, maybe you like art you know whatever it is find a way to give yourself that gift um you know if you can't do a membership because i think memberships are great for the community so not only do you learn how to do something and you get, you know, specialized instruction and all that, but you get the community, which is the main thing to me, I think. You get, if you want that, you get a supportive, sweet group of friends, and everybody has one now. So, you know, whoever you enjoy the most. But if you can't do that, um, work toward it, I think, you know. So what can you cut or pay off so that you can? because it is that important and the ones who are in these communities will tell you you know that my depression is better or when I'm depressed I can go in there and get lifted up you know that's kind of the importance of it give her a little kind of hot pink looking top 
let's do some hair. What color hair should we do? We can do brown, black, blonde, red, y'all name it. Since we don't know who's getting it. Let's do some hair. Let's see. Oh, we're good. We've got 30 minutes. I still want to keep going, though. I don't want to get too comfortable and think, you know, oh, we're no problem. And then at the end, run out. Red hair. Okay, let's see. Well, we got two for red? Interesting. I like red. I've never done red. Somebody says blonde. Y'all come on so I can... I'm about to put these in my website. Hopefully, hopefully by Monday, y'all. I've got a busy weekend, but see... They're my little paint palettes that I paint on. I got my new ones in. They're, they're the, the nice coatings, so you can reuse these. Listen, you don't need that many. Here's the cool thing. Let me show you. Um, I don't. All my real messy ones are not in reach, but I will take these and reuse them a dozen times. So they just go in my little file here, right here beside me. When I'm not on a live, that's what I use. If I'm on a live, I'll grab a clean one. We have lots of reds. Okay, I'm going to do red hair. <gasps> Whew, I've never done red. Whew, we're not here. I'm going to start with this base of cinnamon stick. It's a really pretty kind of coppery color. Mm -hmm. Only know really one person in real life with red hair, like, that I've been around. And I, I can't do her hair. It's, it is gorgeous. But we're going to try this as a base. I don't think it's going to be dark enough. Tell you what tell you what we're gonna do a little darker for her base and then we'll go over it somebody said brown I know it could be any of this right so I'm gonna kind of come in here and put some try to go around her crown she needs a crown you you need a crown so listen this is what we need to do when we see somebody's when we see lipstick on someone's teeth like I had the other day, you got to tell them. And when we see somebody down, you got to hug them. A virtual hug is great. And when their crown is wonky, you say, come here, girl, I got gotcha, you. And you put it back on. Um, we have too much of this, you know, I don't like her. She did this or she didn't do this. Stop it. Like we don't, we're not living that way. I'm not living that way. We have got to be more loving and kind and forgiving and speaking to myself, y'all. <laughs> We've got to because the world is hard enough. I'm giving her some kind of curly-ish hair up here. And then we're going to do some wispies kind of all around here. She's got this hair sticking out. That really should have been, I need to paint more pink in here. Hold please, hold please. Oh, Deborah. Well, before I go live, every time I pray that he would speak through me, whatever you guys need to hear. So I know that some people probably turn it off and I understand that there's times I wouldn't want to hear it either. Um, but I know that there's someone today that needs this because he gave me this lesson. I'm going to tear up like two hours ago and said someone needs this. And so I pray that who, who needs it gets chosen, you know, um, and they get to have this, but you know, I think that it relates to all of us at some point, right? And if not you, then you be the encourager. You know, if you're like, man, I'm good. I wish this lady would shut up. Then you go encourage, right? Everybody that's got it together can be the ones that we all come to when we need to hear that we're important. Right? Oh, don't make me cry, people. He sure is, Sue Ellen. Thank you for saying that. He so is. He's the only one who will never leave or betray us. And that's the truth. I mean, our, we know, we see. We see friends who's had a betrayal. We've seen maybe our kids, maybe you, you know, we've all, excuse me, been there, had that, whatever. Um, so, yes, I hope 
to just point the way if I can for anybody who who doesn't know him okay so let's do some more wispies how's this looking I hope it kind of looks like a hot mess but her bun is kind of wonky and I liked it that way I left it you know I kind of put it wonky off to the side for a reason because I'm sure mine is as you can see it is perfect um you know but you could put it in the center if you really want it in the center let me just take a look at this compared to my little my little printout that I printed hold please while I try to get this a little more like what it's supposed to look like it's very hard upside down I feel like I'm struggling lately with the upside down thing which is so funny because I think until people really started talking about it it was so easy and then once people started really going how do you do that I'm like I don't know I'm, I'm not doing so good lately yeah she needed more hair over here this is definitely a, a very messy kind of top bun going on. Oh, guys, I got all teary, which makes my nose run. Yeah. Oh, I love you, Chris. I'm glad you're in my group. I, I have the sweetest ladies. I tell you what, y'all. Is Susan here today? Susan knows who I'm talking about if she's here. Oh, good. See, Belinda? You guys give her a hug. If you see somebody that's that's outwardly saying, I am struggling with something, give them, give them a hug. And that just means say, hey, I'm with you. You know, I understand or I'll pray for you and, and do it. You know, pause and pray right then. How's this looking? Trying to give some wispies. I'm just going to have to fix this when we're done. I know. Hugs to all. That's for sure, Linda Sue. Hugs to all. Hold, please. Hi, Tarita. I know I've, there's a lot of y'all that, that I have not seen, and I'm sorry. Hello to everybody on. I'm grateful you're here. Thanks, Susan. Listen, if you have a child or a grandchild, this would be great to... Let me see if I can get that link. I don't know. I'm not super handy with this thing, but I think I can do it. Um, oh, I can. I think I'm going to do it. Copy? Ooh. Paste? Did I do it? I did it. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move that other one for now and let y'all see this little link. And hopefully that will take you to this tracer. Download it, print it, let your kids, your grandkids, your friend, your Sunday school class, your whoever, let them have it to, to do whatever they need to um, or paint it for them. Let's do her some eyes. I think once we get our eyes on here, it always kind of brings her to life. I'm just using a very small detailed brush and just gently giving her some eyelids. You know me, I'm going to do easy. I'm not going to do anything super complicated. We're going to do a few lashes like this, just a few. But somehow putting eyes on things, just like when Tanya was doing her little bumblebee all of a sudden it just brings it to life something like that let's get this crown going guys i'm grabbing some antique gold oh see oh somebody somebody needs this and somebody's grandkid needs this and and um boy y'all have an opportunity to teach your grandkids uh where their security can come from and not to look to the world not to look to any other person because as we know like I said you know you can be rejected by the person you love the most so uh, it can, your security and your 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 sense of purpose all of that has to come from Christ or it can be shaken so firm foundation ladies firm foundation I'm doing this antique gold on this crown 
and then we'll go over it with something else like some glitter some diamond dust you know whatever is in our little bag of tricks over here glad y'all are here today I really am and I love that that um, I know God was bringing somebody here for a reason to hear this little you know encouragement today and that I was just talking to Christy last night just last night about how much he loves us individually and it kind of blows me away that as big as we the world is and as many people as there are how he comes after the one lost sheep he cares about the one lost sheep and he will come after you and draw you to him and that is so amazing how we doing guys is it looking like a crown oh i love my christy i love all of you guys and a pre you're all different in your own ways and bring something different to the table which is so cool and so beautiful it's why we you know you got to accept everybody regardless of how different they are because you know there's good in everybody and we're all different Man, I've, I've seen that so many times where people will say, so-and-so is this or that. And when I get to know them, I don't see that at all. I see something totally different. Um, sometimes we don't give people enough chance, you know what I mean? And don't get to know them on a level where you see all the good. And we also don't know, but what she found out, her son was in jail the day that happened. Or, you know what I mean? Like, how to give people chances. Thank you, Liz. Come on, come on. Has anybody tried the download? I would like to be sure it works. I did not test it, and I always test it. But because this came about just a couple of hours ago, I was frantically trying to get you know everything get it drawn out well and then get it loaded up and get it to the VIP group and all the things we have to do so I didn't take time to test it and just hope it is okay how we doing 15 minutes oh Belinda I love that Oh, good, Christy. So if it, well, no, that's different because this one, this one, they have to sign up for email. You do have to agree to get email from me, but I send one a week. That's pushing it too. I do one a week and no more. So it always makes me chuckle when people unsubscribe saying that I send too many. I'm always like, but it's only one a week. That's not many at all. But yeah, it's okay. Oh, please. I got to plug this baby in. Okay, so again, if you are not in Deb's Event Emporium group, you're going to want to get in there. That's where you can see all the creators today. It's already been a fun day, and there's just a whole lot left. And I know there is a lot of events going on, so you're going to have to pick and choose. But we hope that you will pick ours and watch theirs on replay. <laughs> of course. I'm teasing, but you know. Um, this is an uplifting day. It's a whimsical day. Everything that we do is whimsical today, which is just my favorite thing. It just makes me happy. So I love this. this. Oh, good. Thanks, Linda. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate that. I sure hope you're doing good. I just pray for you every day and think, I keep thinking I've got to message you and you know how it is. Before you know it, it's midnight. I used to worry so much, like they're going to think I don't care, you know, but I think we're all that way, aren't we? Where we're just, before you know it, your day is over. You just, so many things happen that we don't even expect. Okay. We're going to give her a little nose. Don't worry. We'll give her a little mouth. 
I'll go back and do that now because it probably looks weird for people that are just popping on. So about here, we're going to give her just a cute little kind of wonky mouth. So like one side kind of comes out straight and this one's curved. See that? Just a little bit wonky. I like my designs to be kind of wonky. I mean, imperfect, I embrace <laughs> because it takes the pressure off. So if you haven't been able to paint, try painting this imperfect style and you might love it because it just takes all the pressure off. I'm going to do a little nose, but just a little bit darker than her skin tone because I don't do nose as well. I'm doing a little sideways kind of thing and that's all she's getting. Just a little something something there for a nose. And then we will give her some cheeks. Oh, I've got to do her flowers. What am I talking about? Oh, but I do want to give her cheeks real quick. So hold please. We're going to do this pink. I'm going to kind of offload my brush and just quickly come in here and give her some cheeks. You can use makeup for this. I've seen a lot of people use makeup. I just grab my paint because that's what I've got sitting here and just do some light stumbling on here. I'm teaching art basics 101 in my group and I'm t we just talked about stumbling where you're just kind of scraping some dry paint on here um, and I might even sand it a little when we're done and just make it very subtle good thanks Rula let's do quick flowers quick flowers keep grabbing new brushes because I'm not going to deal with trying to clean those off okay we'll do a pink here because you know I'm a pink person right in the middle Guys, if you can't do flowers, I promise you can do these flowers. So just round circle. Doesn't have to be even perfect. I don't like mine to be perfect. So that's the base of that one. We'll do, hmm, oh, what colors? Because <sighs> the crown is gold, so I really don't want yellow. We'll do purple. Aw, Chris, thank you. Nobody ever has to say things like that. It's embarrassing to me, but I appreciate it. It's so sweet. And when I'm down, I wish I would keep those because when I'm down and feeling like, you know, like, you know how we feel, um, then I need to read that. <laughs> so I appreciate it. Okay. So let's do a couple of purple. like so i will finish this um as soon as i'm done here because i want to put some glitter or something on her crown and kind of finish up her hair i'll probably touch up everything to be honest and give her a little bit of outline um, and so watch for that picture i'll post it into the group and if you're ready uh kimmery or deb i will put your link to the group back up here Thank you guys so much for including me. Can't tell you how good it feels to be asked to be in an event because um, there are just so many worthy, much more worthy than me. So I love being invited to these events. Oh, polka dots would be adorable. Yeah, that would be super cute. I'm watching for that link. Thank y'all for the hearts. That tells Facebook that you're enjoying it, so I appreciate it. Thanks, Carrie. Um, let's go back in. So I'm gonna grab some white. 10 minutes, we're okay. I love you, Tarita. Aw, oh, thanks, Jana. Yes, if you, if I didn't drive you off with all my, you know, pep talk, then please hit the follow. We, we need, we need more kind women, more friends on our page, and you come hang out with us. I go live a couple of times a week. I'm really focusing on my private group, so I'm really cutting down on what I do on my lives, but I'm still there because not everybody can do the private groups. Um, hi, Shelly Ann. Uh, but anyway, I'm taking this purple with some white. I'm still looking for that link. I don't see it. And... Just coming back in here and doing commas. That's what I call it. Thank you, Lisa. I love saying Lisa Lippa too. I don't know what it is, but every time I see you in my brain says, Lisa Lippa's here, you know. <laughs> Lisa Lippa. 
I know Gloria, we do. Wow, she Gloria's been with me since day one. Um Thank you, Julie. And we do need to catch up on the phone for sure. Uh, again, doing the same thing here, just kind of coming in with commas with a lighter shade. I just mixed them white. You guys are so welcome. You don't need to thank me. I, I'm thanking you for being here. We need the support. It, it's definitely an encouragement when you're here. You do get that a lot. <laughs> it just goes together so perfect. Then I'm kind of coming back with the tip of my brush and doing some dark purple. Here it is. Thank you, Camry Pen. We want to get that group built up so you guys go join. I know you will if you haven't. It doesn't cost a thing, and all it does is encourage Camry and Deb and you know, thank them for the hard work they've done in putting this together. Running events is not easy. You're coordinating a lot. You're creating graphics. You are, comp uh, people are needing a different time, needing to move, can't do it after all, so they have to find somebody else. You know, there's a lot that goes into it that you don't see. So they do this as a labor of love for you guys, and thank you, ladies, for doing it. Okay, let's do that pink one in the middle. She's coming together. She's not the prettiest I've ever seen, but hey, none of us, most of us are not supermodels, so I love her. You know, like that's kind of how I think is let her be wonky, let her be imperfect. Does she have a long face? Good, because we're not all perfect proportioned, right? And if you've got a daughter or a granddaughter or somebody that struggles, maybe they wear glasses and get made fun of, make her with glasses. Make her with the same glasses that they wear, y'all. That would be so cute. And surely they would see, oh, that's cute. You know what I mean? And we got to teach our kids, our grandkids, to love who they are just the way they are and not to listen to the mean people. You know, you help them find nice people and get rid of the negatives. So coming back in with that lighter pink and then again, I just, because of time, I'm going right back over it with some dark pink to kind of calm it down and give it a little bit of, you know, movement. How are we doing? We still got seven minutes. Okay. So like I said, I know it's not perfect because we've, I've talked a lot, not we, I've talked a lot, but we got her done pretty much. I just go in now and really clean it up. I'll give everything a second coat. I will kind of give her wings some more juice. I might even put a little, little glitter. What do y'all think? Um, let me find my gold if I have it right here and show you this. Good, thank you. Sweet and sassy, what's your first name? Cause you know, I'm terrible with names. Listen, Camry, I appreciate you. Thank you for inviting me. Um, what a, what a, a just, made my day to be asked so thank you thank you um taking this gold it's just a deco art <sighs> glorious gold and let's start i know we can't get done but you'll see how pretty this crown's going to be with this gold now listen you guys we can 3d this we can put little gems little jewels on here on this you know on these little things you don't have to leave it plain and also, here's another idea for you. If you have a daughter, granddaughter, uh, you know, depending on your age, but let's say you've got a granddaughter that's coming over, print this out, y'all paint it, maybe go to Hobby Lobby Michaels, the Dollar Tree, let her pick out some things to embellish it. So some little uh, pearls or some little jewels or buttons or bling, you know, how, whatever she's into, let her pick it. And then write something on it, write a Bible verse, or you are perfect the way you are, whatever you want to encourage her with, and then she'll take that home and hang it up. And so you've not only taught her painting and creating is such a stress reliever, but, you know, she goes home hopefully feeling a little more strong, a little better about herself. And who doesn't need that? I get quiet when I'm like, oh, no, I'm running out of time. We got a few minutes. 
thank y'all for hanging with me to the end. Keep on commenting. You know, say whatever you want to say. Um, because I'm going to have to pick somebody to get this. And I will fix it up for you. And if you want different hair color, I can even change that. And um, what else was I going to say? Oh, the $25 gift card they're giving away at the end of the evening or tomorrow. I'm not sure when, if she said when she's going to draw. But each creator can pick someone from their list. So you got two chances, easy chances, to get something today. Uh, so sprinkle do some commenting if you're a silent watcher go ahead and say hello I'm here watching from wherever you know say something so we could hopefully send you something you know but I totally understand silent watchers I do it sometimes too especially if I'm doing something I'll just have it on and not able to comment but anyway you see see the gold how it shimmers we can put some diamond dust maybe yes perfect for a little girl's room but also perfect for me i would totally put my word of the year which is prayer on here and hang it right there um i've got mine behind me which you can't see it's up higher but um because i've painted something similar before but you guys we could put gold through here which would be pretty i don't know if i'm but look just add whatever you're into you know like I think gold would actually look good in these wings let's just take a look because we've got a minute how are we doing Ooh, I'm so happy we got most of this done like I said all I like is finishing touches you know kind of perfecting it a little I just love adding that gold whimsy you're coloring your hair <laughs> Oh, awesome, Cindy. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. If you're new, please give me another chance. Like uh, I always say, give creators a few chances. Go look at what they do because even if today, you know, wasn't your thing, you might look and go, oh, but she also does glass art. We do a lot of glass art around here. Here's what we did yesterday. Can y'all see that? And so I love teaching this too. It's so shiny. See how the glass just looks so pretty and shiny. Anyway, we do a lot of glass art and resin art and all kind of paintings, but I am definitely whimsical, fun, happy. That's the vibe that I want in my art. So yes, get a printer, Belinda. Um, I don't mind mailing y'all a tracer. Uh, I just can't do it on the regular. So if you don't have a printer, you can go to my website and go to my email and email me. It'll say on there, let's see. Yeah, it'll say on there, I think, to email me. Or when you get the email on Monday, hit reply and just say, hey, would you mail me that tracer? Um, I don't mind doing it like as a one-time thing. I just can't do it regularly. I can barely get out my happy mail, y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Are we? Oh, it's 2.59. My watch said 2.07. It's the alarm. Uh, that scared me. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate you guys. When you say I am inspiring, it's you guys that are inspiring to me. So I don't thank you very much. God's just loving you guys through me. That's all. So hope you all have a wonderful day. Go watch Grammy's Crafts and Creations next. And the best way to get there is to click that link down here and go to the group, join the group, and watch from there. But if you don't, go to Grammys, Crafts, and Creations. Okay, see you guys later. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.